dear colleagues and uh, friends, I am very glad to be invited to speak at uh, International Year for Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development. As we know, climate change is strongly influencing the ecosystem and our living environment. My topic today will focus on our understanding of climate change risks, especially for cities. My report uh, is based on IPCC uh, assessment uh, report six and uh, the summary for the urban policymakers. Global surface temperature in the last decade was 1.1 degrees Celsius higher than 1850 to 1900. The warming rate is unprecedented in the last 2000 years. Each of the four decades has been successfully warmer than any decade that preceded it since 1850. Our best estimation is that almost, almost all the observed warming results from the consequence of human activity with greenhouse gas warming partly masked by aerosol cooling. Natural factors such as solar and volcanic activity, as well as internal climate variability are taken into account while natural variability does modulate human driven changes at the regional scale and the decadal scale. It has little effect on global warming at uh, uh, the centennial scale. And there also in this uh, figure, we, we, we can see the recent change in the climate system, in the climate are widespread, rapid and intensifying. The atmosphere is warming and getting wetter. There are shifts in the large scale climatic uh, circulation with a widening and a straightening of the hard light circulation and uh, a pullover shift of extropical uh, storm trucks. In the cryosphere, widespread loads of the snow ice has been observed. Uh, this includes a decrease in, in Arctic sea ice area and the thickness, permafrost warming and thaw. A global retreat of glaciers, loss of uh, ice from Greenland due to the increased surface melting and from sectors in Atlantic due to the increased melt and the ice shelves. The ocean is also warming with more frequent marine heat waves and uh, changing in multiple ways, including increasing salinity contrasts, increased upper ocean acidification and loss of oxygen. As a result, the geographic range of many marine uh, species is shifting. Due to the loss of land ice and ocean thermal, uh, expansion, sea level is rising at an accelerating rate, now reaching about uh, uh, 3.7 millimeter per year. Over land, surface air temperature rising faster over land than the global average and much higher than, quicker than the uh, ocean. Climate zones are shifting polar worlds and the growing season the length of growing season is much of the northern uh, hemisphere in the northern hemisphere extropics has increased. Majority of the land area has experienced decreasing in available water during dry season due to the increase of evaporation and the land at uh, the plant transpiration. There has been polar wood and the up slope shift of the distribution of many land species and the increase 
the species to know over uh, in, in for many land ecosystems. And uh, human induced climate change is increasing, affecting every region and the system uh, of the world, in, including through more intense extreme uh, weather and climate events. So in left side, we see uh, the, 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 the hum, uh, increasing uh, of the, 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 the uh, you know, for the, for, for the temperature of the land areas, each region you see the red color. And the right hand is for a precipitation. Yeah, if you see the green, most of the regions with, with sufficient data coverage, then we can see increase of the uh, precipitation and uh, uh, extremes. Uh, this uh, change of the regional, uh, uh, you know, weather and extremes are linked uh, yeah, due to the human activities. As for the future uh, warming, it depends on the uh, emission scenarios, depends on how much greenhouse gas uh, we, you know, we, we emit to the atmosphere. The best estimation is that global uh, surface temperature when average over 20 years, which is a, we, we say that's a climate, climate at least 20, 20 years uh, uh, average, will reach 1.5 degrees Celsius in the period 20, in, in the next 20 years or so. It implies that by 2030, every single year has a 50% of chance having, you know, the, the annual global mean surface temperature above 1.5 degrees Celsius. Only under very low and low emission scenarios, global surface temperature is projected to limit below two degrees Celsius at the end of the century. And uh, you know, for the intermediate uh, scenario, our best estimate is that global surface temperature will reach 2.0 degrees Celsius around middle of the 21st century, uh, around 2.7 by 2100 and 3.3 uh, 3 by 2300. Uh, global warming of 1.5 degrees C and two degrees C, which are, you know, uh, especially well, control the temperature well below two degrees C is uh, the Paris Agreement. At the same time, we are pursuing one point degree C warming and uh, limit. Uh, all these uh, two goals will be exceeded during the 21st century, unless deep reduction in CO2 and the other greenhouse gas emissions occur in the coming decades. Uh, uh, continued global warming uh, is projected to further intensify the global water cycle, including uh, its uh, variability, global monsoon precipitation, and the severity uh, of uh, wet and the dry uh, events. Uh, for the extreme event, especially for the heat wave, heavy precipitation and the droughts are projected to be larger in frequency and intensity with every additional increment of global warming. So in the future, uh, the, uh, the, the frequency and the intensity of the extreme events uh, will depend on the level, how, how much warming of the global uh, surface temperature. Many changes in climate system become larger in direct relation to the increase of global warming. Uh, you see hot extremes, marine heat waves, heavy precipitation throughout in some regions, the intensity and frequency are going to increase. And uh, as for the intense tropical cycle, the proportion of uh, uh, such intense, you know, severe intense tropical cyclone is also 
expect to increase with the uh, uh, increase of uh, global warming. Every region will experience concurrent and multiple changes in climatic impact drivers that uh, at the high level of global warming. In every place, they are, you, in many places, they are causing compound extremes. Uh, this is mainly due to you know, increased frequency and uh, intensity of different, uh, every single, single extreme events when climate getting warming, the, the, you know, the, the, uh, very easy to uh, for for those uh, extreme events, they 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 come together or then causing the compound extreme events. And uh, at the global scale, the global uh, uh, surface temp as the global temperature increase, warming is expected larger over land and the Arctic and uh, amplified in the cities. Uh, this is due to the cities that have added, you know, the urban, uh, uh, urban uh, heat island influence into the, to, to, to the city areas. So most of, most of the cities and the urban areas will experience increases in local temperature, say more than 1.5 uh, degrees Celsius earlier than other uh, non-city areas. Heavy rainfall events are more intense and more frequent in a warming world. And the runoff uh, run is amplified, especially for the, by the uh, urbanization. We all know the land surface in the city area is changed and then, then very easier to cause the, 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 the flood in the land area. We have a lot of experience, uh, have many, uh, uh, in the you know uh, flood events occurred in the previous years in the uh, large cities, both in China and other other uh, uh, cities. Heavy rainfall events can flood buildings, uh, roadways, subway tunnels, and the farmlands. Heavy precipitation may overwhelm city transportation and. Uh, in the storm water drainage systems, which are typically not designed for accelerated extreme events. With very high uh, availability, low lying islands and the coasts are facing accelerated sea level rise. The extreme events occur today, such as a storm Typical uh, the tropical cyclones drought and the increase in marine heat waves. Uh, these risks are highly related to the global warming. And uh, uh, here you see uh, the century extreme sea level rise, which occurred once in hundred years, is expected to see annually, maybe in the next uh, thirty or fifty years depend on the region. The combination of the extreme sea level increased by both sea level rise and the storm surge and the extreme rainfall and the river events will increase the coastal flood with potential risk for widespread mortality and damage to housing, transportation and energy infrastructure structures, this is very, you know, uh, risky for the, for the coastal cities. The uh, combination of the future urban development and the increase in frequent uh, extreme climate events, such as heat wave also, will exacerbate uh, heat stress in the cities. Uh, in the future, urbanization will further intensify urban heat island effects, regardless of change in the background of the climate, uh, climate uh, change. The global community has a map of solution space on climate change and the sustainable development with cities, 
play a central role in how we adapt and mitigate as the cities has a you know, large exposure to the uh, climate change and also cities uh, release uh, majority of the greenhouse gases, uh, the city can be you know, a solution for us in the future. The science is clear that cities and the urban areas are not only facing more serious climate change risks, but also main source of climate forces, as well as site of innovation and the implementation for adaptation, mitigation, and uh, sustainable future. And uh, dear colleagues, uh, please trust that they have been major advances in, in, climate, uh, uh, in climate change globally. They range from observation, understanding of the process in climate system, global and regional modeling to insight into our past and future climate. Uh, the, this science, our knowledge of current trends and our understanding of the future change are also part of the solution. It is critical that they are considered in adaptation strategy, mitigation measures and uh, uh, resilience building. Today, we have much more precise and clear picture of how the climate system works and how climate change influence, uh, influences us and influence the cities. Uh, uh, with uh, the above uh, talks, I'm going to finish up here. Uh, thanks uh, so much uh, 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 for your listening. Thank you.